Okay, it's been a couple days since I've recorded again. Um, we might be getting behind schedule at some point, so videos might be coming up at interesting times and days. But essentially, um, we have a lot of stuff that I did. So I decided to upgrade all of our curios to, uh, to God uh, level. And give them all max level gems. Uh, I have some more rings that we're going to add. Because you can find certain types of rings. Like ring of night vision and ring of experience. You can apparently find those inside the backpacks. That spawn when you, uh, when you kill certain things. Also we're getting very low on uh, god forged pearls so i'm gonna need to work on those soon oh uh, we already have a stack in here that's why we're so low i guess but uh oh yeah all of our xp isn't going to us because it's going to the uh, xp block so there's now an xp block in here so now if we want xp we can just kind of Hey, we, we just kind of click it. Also, see, that's one of the issues that I've been finding with the uh, the mob farm is that the the they still have AI, and the only way to erase AI a uh, spawner. So the way to erase AI from it is chorus fruit. So we need chorus fruit. To basically make it so that the uh, mobs don't have any AI at all. And that's the main issue that I've been encountering. Is uh, when I try and AFK for a bit. We're just struggling with that. And it's a little bit annoying. But. Well that's not good. Uh, give, me, give me a moment. I have to go figure out something. Because that's not supposed to happen when that happens. Uh. I really have- I've never seen that before. What even just happened? I'm so confused. Um, anyways. What were we- what were we doing? Oh yeah, uh, I also have 76 more skill points. Uh, 78 more skill points, so we won't be able to finish it off right now. So let's just go and click all of the things. We get some more attack speed, some more attack speed if we have, uh, low health. Extra damage if we have lower health, which I hope never has to happen. Because, I mean, I prefer to stay full health. Full health is good. Crafted food restoring health is also kind of lit. Extra free max health. Extra experience from fishing. I'm not really going to go fishing, but... 5% chance for extra mob loot's not bad at all. And then extra damage if you have at least 15 hunger points. Blocking. Blocking for each hunger point. Oh, well, we are so close to finishing all of that. We just need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight points total, which is insane that we can get all of this. We just need eight more points, which I'll be getting for next episode or something. But uh, we need a bunch more XP. Actually, I might as well just use this for now. It's not, it's not that crazy. It's just Sanguine Ring of Experience and Branding. And then I upgraded all the gems that I needed at the time. But we probably should get some more with this. So, um, Lightning Gems. I need Storm Gems. So, uh, they look the same, which is the issue. Like storm gem, there we go, flawless storm gems, lightning spell power. Because we are going to end up being a lightning mage, which is uh, what I wanted to do. So, we'll use arcane sands, couple stacks of you, couple stacks of gem dust. Put those into here, that, that, and perfect storm gem, dope. So, now I just need to find more, uh, more other gems because i think the other one that we can utilize in here 
is the intelligence gems. Uh, yeah, flawless intelligence gem. I put one in each. Uh, so we have one of them. Uh, Cracked Source Jewel, Necromancy, Brawler's Gem, Natural Gem, Yellow Juice Gem, uh, Source Jewel, eh. Perfect Brawler's Gem, Perfect Tyrannical Gem, Guardian Gem. We already have really good gems on pretty much everything else. Um,. So I'm just trying to look for, ooh, arcane efficiency gems. We'll put those on too. So let's get you guys upgraded. Now that should be good for this, because then I can just do that. Now we have four out of the five, or four, five out of the six, sorry. Then we need, um... Ender gem is ender spell power. Arcane recovery is cooldown reduction. So. Do we have any more of. That's arcane recovery. Slipstream. Okay, we can get one out of that. So that's not bad. And then we just casually do that. Perfect gem of arcane recovery. And now we put those onto the rings. And now we equip the rings in our two slots. And as you guys can tell, I also have a bunch of champion coins. Those champion coins, what we're going to do is we're going to put one stack into our system. And the rest are all going to get exchanged. And I did the I did the duping. It's the same. It's normal vanilla duping. It's just basically putting a chest down and then quitting out of the game. So it's like, it's it's kind of mid when it comes to the level of the duping stuff. Ancient Codex. Perfect Ender Surge Gem. Radiant Ruby. Ultimarite. Elytra, Godforged Pearls, Legendary Ink, Ring of Flight. We got the Ring of Flight. Perfect. So we got what we needed, which is perfect. I love to see it. You, you absolutely do love to see it, by the way. It's just gorgeous. Uh, Ultimarite. Ancient Codex is probably the, the best uh, spell casting thing. So we're going to use Ancient Codex instead of our flimsy journal. Uh, Elytra, I mean, do we, do we really need an Elytra if we have a creative flight? Not really. Uh, Ultimarite, how do we utilize Ultimarite? It goes on to any upgraded Netherite type of thing, so, okay, and it just, uh, so... 3, 1.6, 8, 0.25. Uh, oh, so you just get the bonus from everything. Okay. Uh, we also have a bunch more uh, champions coins, so while we're here, you know, I might as well. What do we need to, to get to make the Radiant Rubies? Because we're going to need a bunch. I need all the cores, Nether Star, and Dragon's Breath. Uh, so, I need one of you, two of you, three of you, four of you, five of you, six of you, seven of you, eight of you, nine of you, ten of you. So now we have ten cores. Perfect. So we'll be able to click in those ten cores. I also have perfect Ender Surge gems, which are kind of dope, because we can put those on. It's our boots. Yeah, we can put them on our boots and on our uh, tools. I'll put them on our tools, actually. Why not? And now we need to get the other cores. So, uh, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is ten glacial cores, or it should be. Yep, ten glacial cores, perfect. And now we get ten light cores. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we have ten of those cores. And we'll uh yeah, we'll we'll get all that there. So now we got all our cores there. And now we need ten more of the other ones. So dark core three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. And Thunder cores, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We should have enough space for wind cores as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we've got all those cores. What else did we need? We needed nether stars, and divine rubies. So divine rubies we can get for three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How much do we have left? We have 70 left. So 70 left with the stuff that we need to make 10 divine rubies. Sin of lust, sin of envy, sin of greed. Uh... Spawn egg. Oh, so we, we gotta we gotta kill a bunch of stuff too. I probably should have gone through the quests, but you know, I find this to be funny first to go like side quest it up, go kind of crazy with it. Um Immunity Vitality, eh. 20% spin seed, 5 luck. Eh, I, I just don't really care. Um, got 70 left. Talisman of Challenge. Summon and Challenge Cisco. The Fell King. And we probably need to do that at some point, but. Wait, we get a flawed gem for 3? That's not just, just not worth it. When we can get this stuff for. We'll just give you this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's all of it. Perfect. Okay, so. We got both of the uh, mythic rings, which is dope. We only have space for one of them, I believe, right now. Because I have magnetism. But I also need to upgrade these guys. This guy needs to go into there. We need to go absolutely wild with that as well. Got another ancient codex. Uh, can I break that down into something? It does not look like it. Okay. Eh. It's not. It's not the biggest. Wait. Ancient codex. Oh, it looked. It looked crazy for a second there. Uh, what about making it? Oh, you need the ruined book, which is tough to make. Um, and then we got the Ender Surge gems. So, can I actually? One thing that I wanted to check, uh, can we apply a sigil of socketing to this stuff? So sigil of socketing goes to max three. Okay. So wait, can I double put ender shirt? No, I can't. Okay, that's that's good. Um. Is anything that's enchanted missing a socket other than my boots? Because these boots, uh. I mean, all my armor is kind of insane right now, which is why, like, when I upgrade it to the, to the Fallen Hero stuff using. Uh, first I need to upgrade it to the Cisco stuff with the Radiant Rubies, sorry. 
but uh we need to kill the ender dragon first but we can we're gonna be able to fly now which is kind of dope um but we can't socket it unfortunately so ender surge gems are gonna have to go in there bit of a pain but it is what it is anyway so let's uh let's socket this stuff up baby 140 149 levels too jeez that's sad you know what just just give me a second we'll get to we'll get to 150 here in a couple seconds and it won't even be that big of a thing so give me one moment okay now after a quick trip back from the mob farm we now have 174 levels so went a little bit overboard but uh, experience gained current hp damage okay not crazy Armor toughness is dope. Fire spell power, eh. Holy spell power. And this last one's still a lot better. Um, Piercing ring, max health, lifesteal armor pierce. Dope, okay. And then we can replace our gem stuff. Uh, gotta always, always top off your stuff. Like, it, there's no excuse for getting it, letting it get low. Um... I'll grind for the stuff to, to upgrade all this stuff later, but for now, we just don't. Like, getting the rings and stuff and all of the gems is just boring. So, I'm gonna leave it. Uh, hardy jewels. We can get all the jewels and stuff. Oh, the jewels aren't even crazy. They're, they're not even that good. Anyways, we're just gonna plop all this stuff on real quick. And now we just have creative flight, we can't die, and we have all this stuff, which is actually dope. So, um, now we have to go to the end, which, uh, I believe there's a mod, End Remastered, um, oh shoot, we need all the eyes. Give me a second, I gotta check out End Remastered. Okay, so I have a sheet pulled up of where you find the eyes now. Uh, apparently, the old eye you find in desert pyramids, there's a 10% chance. The nether eye you find in nether fortresses. The cold eye you find in igloo chests. The rogue eye in jungle pyramid chests. The black eye in buried treasure chests. Uh, magical eye from evokers or woodland mansion chest. Um... Lost Eye in Mine Shafts, Corrupted Eye in Pilger Outpost, Wither Eye, Dropped from the Wither. Guardian Eye, Dropped from Elder Guardians, which I dropped. Er, crafted with one eye of Ender and one Witch Pupil, which is a Witch Chance drop, so we need to go kill Witches. Uh, Bastion Remnant. Uh, in the Exotic Eye, we need... And then we need a master level cleric and uh, a bunch of other stuff. So. Cryptic eye is chance of dropping when enchanting items. So that's probably going to be one of the uh, harder ones to get. Because there's like a really low roll chance that you get that one. But I think we try and go into the nether and see if we can get the... Uh, uh, which, which eye is it? The, the nether eye, sorry. Uh, I know of a couple. One is just over this way, yeah. Yo, what's up, dude? <laughs> I am a god. Uh, so we just need... Uh, fortress chests. Cinder scrap from enemy expansion. Cool. Uh, where do I find the chests in here? Oh, wait. They're right here. So, that's... Well, that's the nether eye. Cool. We got that taken care of. Some cool backpacks with nothing in them. Feeding upgrade that I already have. Bring a fire red... More feeding upgrade... Okay, how many feeding upgrades... Bullish tool, the arch. Oh my gosh. Uh, 
Archmage Jewel. We're gonna need that when we go absolutely crazy with the uh, arcane stuff for uh, for this. But I have to save save that uh, jewel. Probably gonna need a couple more of it actually. But oh well. This isn't even part of the Nether Fortress, is it? It's just a it's just another thing that's right next to it, I guess. Um Rob the light. Okay, cool. Uh, I'd rather rob the darkness, thank you very much. Uh What else is in here? I mean Wither Skellies. Well, their skellies are kind of boring. I already have plenty of their skulls, so... Inferno gem... Oh no, we're withered, guys! It's such a big deal. I'm definitely taking damage right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is, uh... We might have been a little bit overboard with it. Magma Walker. I mean, that's cool, I guess. More backpacks. Reinforced Diorum pickaxe. Cool. Wait, can we get Diorum in here? That'd be kind of dope. If we can, that's nice, but... I mean, there's nothing else really in the nether, is there? Uh, um... Wait, pillager outposts. Uh, drop by the wither. Bastion remnant treasure chests. So we need a bastion remnant. Do we? Are there any bastions nearby? There's that thing. Um. Give me a second, I'm gonna install uh, Structure Compass so we can find stuff easier, because if we're having this much of a problem finding stuff, it's clearly, gonna, it's clearly gonna take us a long time. So give me one moment, and we're back. Okay, perfect. So now we have the Structure Compass. Uh, so what we need to find is Bastion... Bastion Remnant. So select... There's one. Thousand blocks away, right this way. So we will go directly towards it. I it's it's seven hundred blocks away. I love creative flight and survival. It's so helpful. It's so gorgeous. I I just. I don't understand mod pack makers who don't make it so that you can go absolutely crazy. I mean, like, yes, we use a dupe glitch, but, like, come on now. Oh, cool, we found a Bastion Remnant. Uh, Bloodlord Gem, now. Poison Ward Ring, cool. Ooh, another mystical dagger, some more obsidian. Nothing too special. Rage glove, more magma walker boots. See, I'm not looking for anything specific other than like what I need. So, can y'all just give me what I need, please? Okay, where do I find other chests? I wish there was a ring that let me highlight chests. Because that would be super useful right now. Because I have no idea where chests are in... In a mesh. <laughs> Oh, a chest back here, Incandescent Inferno. 
The sword's range is so massive that it doesn't even matter where I really swing it. It's just going to kill everything around me. Which is, like, cool to some extent, but, like... I probably should also just be wearing gold. Because... It, I, I feel like massacring these boys who just want to protect their stuff, like... I'm a little bit on the bad side from this, but, you know... If they didn't want it, they shouldn't have... They shouldn't have asked for it by having stuff that I wanted. I, I don't know. I, I really just don't... I don't know. I, I have no clue. I didn't even really want some of this stuff, I just wanted the achievement. I don't even want an achievement. I want the, uh... I want the quest completed from it. So it's like, it's nothing even that insane. I just want a quest completed from it. But also, uh, we need another... A different Bastion Remnant, so... So that one didn't have what we needed. There's a 50% chance, and we didn't hit it in either of those chests, so that's a bummer. Uh, is that a... What's that over there? Is that another remnant thing, or is that something else? What the... Holy Jesus. Hello, Vindicator. I need... Uh... Thanks for teleporting me away. That was really obnoxious. Um... Okay, this is kind of like... It's like a religious sanctuary of the Illagers. I guess we've broken in. Uh... Do I kill them all or do I not? Is the, the question that I'm struggling with right now. Because, like, surely all illagers deserve to die. But what about their families? Like, do I have to? Oh, there's a Vex spawner up here. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't feel like killing them all right now. We, we have more things, more better, th important things to do. Um, like, run away from that Bastion Remnant, because we need a different Bastion Remnant. So, I don't see anything. Last one was 900. It's like a thousand blocks away at this point. I'm going to move another thousand-ish blocks away. Just so that we don't get pulled back to that one. Because that would kind of suck if we just have to go right back to that other one. Okay, we'll pull it now. 500 blocks away. Over there. Okay. Okay. Awful dungeon spawn. So this is what this is what that spawned from. Okay, well we're we're just gonna ignore that because right right now we're looking for. Wait, is this it? Is this something else? Wait, this is something else entirely. This is the. Uh... The nether gauntlet that you get the blazing eye from. Cool. Well, we took out the nether gauntlet. Uh, that was quick. And there's the bastion. I think this is the bastion. 
This is the bastion, right? It is, yippee. Okay, so that means if we head out this way, we go up a little bit. There should be chests, right? Okay, they're right there. Perfect. Oh my gosh, another jewel of the Archmage. This one's just a, a flawed one, but that's okay. I, I need... I need to know where the chests are, is the, the big issue that I'm facing. So I don't want to kill them all. Okay, why can I not find these stinking eyes? I know what it looks like. I know... I know what I'm trying to find. Why can I not find it? I don't need gold. Wait, is this is, is there one in here? There is. Thank. Perfect. There's one in here. That's all we needed. We just needed the one cursed eye. Now we have it. I think that's all that's in the Nether. So we're gonna uh go back home. And that's going to be the end of this episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I will see you guys uh, very, very soon. Bye-bye.